Chicago has long been known as the second city, but when it comes to innovation, research, finance, and technology, the Midwestern city plays second to none. It's why at least three dozen Fortune 500 companies call Chicago home, including Boeing, McDonald's, and Walgreens. It is here where APS Ketamine is making a name for itself, thanks to cutting-edge treatment for those who suffer from depression, anxiety, PTSD, bipolar disorder, and related mental health conditions. The secret to the practice's success is rooted in the philosophy of its founder, Dr. Abid Nazir, whose aim is to help each patient find hope when hope seems lost. I've always known I wanted to be a psychiatrist. I kind of made that decision back in maybe ninth or 10th grade when many of my friends used to say, you're a really good listener. And I thought, you know, maybe a good career would be to go into psychiatry. And then the more I looked into psychiatry, the more I fell in love with it. So it was always been my lifelong goal. My approach to treating patients is simple. They need to be a partner in the treatment plan. So the first step is that they have to be extremely educated on all the risks and all the benefits. They need to know what to expect. They need to know even some of the science behind what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Also, there has to be a lot of support. So our staff here knows every patient, all the, every patient's family members. We check in on them regularly. When they come to the office, they have to feel extremely welcome and comfortable here. Dr. Nazir and his team understand that the best outcomes occur when there is an open, transparent dialogue between the provider and patient. APS Ketamine Care builds upon this foundation by taking a team approach so their goals are the same as those they serve. I feel we have a really important role in the community. Being the first psychiatric ketamine infusion clinic in the state, in the city, it's a responsibility on us to educate. We're looking to put on events for the public where they it would be open to all where we would speak about ketamine and how it's used in clinical practice so patients and families can become knowledgeable on it and understand it it's our responsibility to really educate even other providers who are have not started using this medication in their practice to help them as well to grow so we can make this kind of life-saving treatment available to as many people as we can in a safe and responsible manner. With experience treating veterans suffering from PTSD at the Overton Brooks VA Medical Center in Louisiana, Dr. Nazir has worked on some of the most complex psychiatric cases. Today, Dr. Nazir knows that old, traditional methods are no longer effective to meeting patients' modern needs. Advancements in the field of psychiatry are allowing specialists like Dr. Nazir to close that gap so he can better treat complex cases and best meet modern needs. For Dr. Nazir, these days, that means embracing ketamine infusion therapy. I've been researching new methods of treating depression for a long time. There was frustration and, I guess, a lack of response from traditional methods. Ketamine was first synthesized back in the 1960s actually as an anesthetic. It's a really safely used anesthetic. It does not lower your breathing rates like other anesthetic agents do. It's been used effectively in anesthesia, but it's also been commonly abused in the streets as a drug called Special K. It has had many uses over the years, but we've determined that it can be very beneficial at very low dosages to help depression and anxiety. Although it's a new form of treatment, APS Ketamine has established itself as one of the foremost experts in the country for ketamine infusion therapy. They are the first psychiatric practice in the Midwest to offer ketamine as a treatment option for those with a mental illness. Dr. Nazir's firm manages psychiatric medications to maximize the benefit of ketamine. Having administered over 500 infusions, Dr. Nazir's firm has extensive experience with how the drug can and should be administered, who it can benefit, and when it should be used. Infusion therapy means IV. It's an intravenous form of administering this medicine. There are many ways to administer ketamine, but by far the most effective way is to do an IV route. So it's a 45 minute infusion of such a low dose of ketamine that we would not even call this an anesthetic dose. So it could be administered very safely in an outpatient setting. So I know exactly how much medicine is entering your nervous system. And there is a very specific range of dosing that we need to stick to for this to be effective in depression and anxiety. The dosing range is extremely low. It's actually so low it's not an anesthetic dose. It's not high enough of a dose to actually put you asleep. So it can be administered very safely 
in an outpatient setting like this. So each patient that comes through the door may have different issues that are going on. So what we do is we are going to create an individualized plan for each person. They may be on different medications, they may have different situations going on in their life. So we want to make sure that everybody has the, the tools that they need to maximize the treatments of ketamine and to make sure that they have a support system when they leave the program. Across the country, ketamine is being used as a viable, effective therapy that has resulted in positive outcomes for those with severe or chronic depression, PTSD, bipolar disorder, anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder, and postpartum depression. As ketamine infusion therapy is growing in popularity, one practice, APS Ketamine, is distinguishing itself in America as a specialist in the field. And that is benefiting people who suffered from depression and considered suicide. Amy was diagnosed uh, 20 years ago uh, with underlying clinical depression. And that started a long, uh, long struggle of different medications, experimental uh, treatments, uh, different doctors. I, I have great hope now. And I think we found the right place to, the right doctor, the right, the right team. I'm very, very pleased. The treatment itself with, with the staff, with the doctor, and everything else, and, and what it does for you in such a short amount of time, and how it can bring you back to where you, you were, that's like miraculous to me. The main thing that was my issue was my dad was in the public eye. He was a politician, you know, he was a state's attorney for so many years, always in the paper, and then he went on to be Attorney General for two uh, terms. I didn't want people to know who my dad was. I wanted uh, just to be Amy Ryan. I wanted to prove that I could do things on my own. But I think that that got to a point where it, it, it angered me maybe so, as I got older, and I, and I was like bitter. Definitely not easy in the uh, in the public eye. They have undoubtedly helped me find Amy again. And I didn't know who Amy was for a long time. When you hear from a, a family member that I have my daughter or son back, and you hear from a patient that I have my life back, that is the most rewarding thing a provider can hear. It's, it's why we do what we do. Here in metropolitan Chicago, Dr. Nazir and his dedicated staff of psychiatric professionals are using new approaches because they know it works. By doing so, they are changing lives. In both their Oak Brook and Michigan Avenue locations, they are finding hope together with those they serve. Dr. Nazir is also the chief medical officer for Symmetria Health, a national organization whose mission is to fight the opioid addiction epidemic. 